In this video, we're going to focus on two column proofs that are associated with medians and altitudes. So let's call this point A, B, C, and D. And let's say this is angle 1, 2, 3, and 4. Now we're given that BD is a median. And we're also given that AD is congruent to DC. So with this information, prove that angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. So go ahead and write a two-column proof. Feel free to pause the video if you want to try this problem. So let's start with the fact that AD is congruent to DC. And that's given. And let's mark it on the graph. So this is AD and this is DC. They're the same. Now we know that BD is a median. And that's given as well. So if BD is a median, and a median is a line segment that connects vertex D to midpoint B, that means B is a midpoint. And it's based on the definition of a median. So that's what I'm going to write. Now let's move on to number four. If B is a midpoint of AC, which I should write that. If B is a midpoint of AC, that means that AB is congruent to BC. So AB and BC are the same. They're the same in value. And the reason for that, we could say it's based on the definition of a midpoint. Now let's move on to statement 5. What else can we say at this point? Now notice that BD is a common side. It's common to both triangles on the left and on the right. So BD is congruent to itself. And this is based on the reflexive property. Now moving on to number six, we now have enough information to prove that the two triangles are congruent. So we can now say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. Now why can we say that? So here is triangle ABD and we're making the claim that it's the same as CBD. And we can say that based on the side, side, side postulate. And the statements that we've used are number one, number four, and number five. So now that we've proven that the two triangles are congruent, we can now say that their corresponding parts are congruent. So we can say angle two is congruent to angle three. And this is based on CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. Now, how can we prove the last statement that angle 1 and angle 4 are congruent? Notice that angle 1 is supplementary to angle 2, and 4 is supplementary to 3. So if angle 2 and angle 3 are congruent to each other, we could say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 4 because it's supplementary. So you can write as a reason supplementary or supplements of congruent angles are congruent. So let's say if uh, 
if angle 2 was 70 degrees. That would mean that angle 3 is 70. Now 1 is supplementary to 2. So 1 is going to be 180 minus 70, which is 110. And angle 4 is supplementary to 3, so it's going to be 110 as well. So therefore, angle 1 is congruent to angle 4. And so that's how you can prove that these two angles outside of the two triangles are congruent. The goal is you want to prove that the two triangles are congruent first. And based on CPCTC, you can prove that any corresponding parts of those two congruent triangles are congruent, which we use that for 2 and 3, which were supplementary to 1 and 4, thus allowing us to prove that 1 and 4 are congruent. Now let's work on another example. So once again, this is going to be A, B, C, and D. And we're given that angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. And also BD is an altitude. Your task is to prove that BD is a median. So feel free to start this problem. So let's start with number one. Angle ADB is congruent to angle CDB. And so we know that's given. And let's mark it on a graph. So here's ADB and here is CDB. They're the same. Now BD is the common side. So in step two, we can say that BD is congruent to itself based on the reflexive property. Now let's move on to step three. So we're given that BD is an altitude. And that's given. And now let's just separate this. Now what can we say next? If BD is an altitude, what conclusions can we draw from it? Now you need to know that an altitude will always form a right angle. So we can make the statement that angle ABD is congruent to, let's see if I can fit it here, angle CBD. So we could say definition of an altitude. We could say altitudes form right angles. So I'll leave it up to you in terms of how you want to describe it. So if they form right angles, those two angles will be congruent to each other. So now we have enough information to prove that these two triangles are congruent. So now we can say that triangle ABD is congruent to triangle CBD. Now what's the reason for this? So looking at the picture, we have an angle, a side, and an angle. So it's based on the ASA postulate, which it's based on statements 1, 2, and 4. Now let's move on to step six. What should we do next? Now that we know that the two triangles are congruent. So we could say that any portion of those two triangles are congruent now using CPCTC. But in order to prove that BD is a median, what do we need? If BD is a median, that means B has to be a midpoint. And if B is a midpoint, that means we need 
AB to be congruent to BC. So that's the statement that we need to make next. AB is congruent to BC. And this is based on CPCTC. Corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. So if AB is equal to BC, that means that B is a midpoint of segment AC. And we could say the reason is the definition of a midpoint. A midpoint is basically the point in between a segment. A midpoint divides a segment, in this case segment AC, into two congruent segments. Now step eight, if B is a midpoint, and notice that BD is a line that connects vertex D to midpoint B, so therefore BD, by definition, is a median. A median is the line that is drawn from the vertex of any triangle to the opposite side, where the opposite side is the midpoint, where it bisects the opposite side into two congruent parts. And the reason? Let's keep it simple. Definition of a median. Or you can write a sentence that explains everything. That BD connects the vertex D to midpoint B, so by definition that's a median.